The sandfly inoculates the promastigote, activating the animal's innate immune response. Immune cells together with cytokines and complement proteins are activated and cause parasite lysis. Some promastigotes, however, are resistant to lysis and escape intact. Local immune cells attract more neutrophils and macrophages, which phagocytize parasites. Inside the macrophage, the promastigote transforms into an amastigote and multiplies. The adaptive immune response is then activated to control this infection. This adaptive response stimulates the macrophage to act, which causes the death of the parasite. At the same time, T cells collaborate to destroy free amastigotes. If the response of T cells fails, a large number of antibodies against leishmania will be produced. These antibodies, along with parasitic proteins, will form circulating immune complexes that are deposited in tissues and organs and trigger severe clinical signs of leishmaniasis. Vaccination with Letifend stimulates the formation of memory cells, produces anti-protein Q antibodies, and activates complement proteins. If the dog comes into contact with the parasite after vaccination, these proteins are activated and attack it more effectively. Parasitic proteins that remain exposed are captured by anti-protein Q antibodies and are eliminated. With fewer parasitic proteins, the formation of immune complexes is much lower. A dog vaccinated with Letifend that becomes infected by Leishmania has a lower parasitic load, a lower titer of antibodies, and therefore a lower risk of developing the disease.